Namaste everybody, this is Sri Akashna here and in this video I'm going to break down for you what is to happen in the remainder of 2020 and 2021 and 2022, the next couple of years going forward. It's crucial that you listen to this and take action upon it because we do not want to be affected by the chaos, especially if there's going to be second wave and third wave. A lot of people are thinking, oh, lockdown is finishing now, everything is going to go back to normal, but it's going to be far from that. So we're gonna dive deep into it today, make sure to pay close attention. But before we get into it, show reel, hit it. What's up guys, namaste everybody, this is Sri Akashna here and in this video I want to share with you certain things that are in preparations that you need to begin with, especially going into the remainder of 2020 after everything that's happened. They call it the Great Awakening. A lot of things have been shaken up with the beginning of the uh, Hong Kong riots, then the Australian wildfires, and then the earthquake and volcanoes in the Philippines. And, and then coronavirus, and then lockdown, pandemic, and then now actually leading up to more things well, with the riots going on, with the racism, and then going further now towards understanding there is a great depression, a great recession coming. So there's a few things that is going to happen. It's already becoming very, very apparent now with the, the likes of Nissan Motors, with Emirates, with all of these great uh, the retailers with um, uh, Victoria's Secret and, and Gap and all these retailers already suffering. And when this is happening with people filing bankruptcy left, right and center, while doors seem to be opening, we will start to see doors closing a lot. Now, how is this going to affect everybody? Actually, on a vibrational level, on a spiritual level, on a financial level, everything is connected. So when we start to see Everything starts to happen right now while the doors are opening, then closing back up because who can pay their outgoings for the three months with no support? I mean, they get very, very little support from government. But with that, there's a lot of problems to happen because those of you who think you are secure because you've got job security, you need to start thinking again. If companies, if business owners are struggling, then it will directly affect everybody who are workers and employees. So what preparations do we need to start to uh, uh, um, prepare for right now? And what is about to happen? Well, first of all, this will be the biggest crash in history so far. Now, some of you will say, oh, how do you know? And how are you to, uh, how are you to believe in this? Whether you believe it or not, it's going to happen. So <laughs> I think it's best just that we do take preparation for something. And what I'm saying here is just to take charge of our life. Right now, if you are one who's sitting there thinking, um, okay, I'm just gonna wait for lockdown to finish and then wait for my boss to call me to get, to get my job back, or maybe you're a business owner and you're thinking, uh, I'm just gonna wait until the economic climate is gonna go back up before everything's gonna be okay, then actually that's like, a, that's like waiting for a slow death because things are not going to go back to normal. Not right now anyway. Things have just been shaken up. All the problems have surfaced now and it'll become bigger and bigger and bigger. There always is a chaos to order. I'm not saying this to threaten anyone or to make you feel very depressed and stressed about the situation. I'm sharing this with you is because I want you to start taking the right initiative so you don't become the victim of this recession, of this Great Depression but you actually find the opportunity within every crisis. I always say this, within every crisis, there is an opportunity. And for you to be the conscious soul and the conscious spirit who wants to make an impact in this world, to want to greater help humans out there, humanity, if you wanna help that, then make sure that you first help yourself to become the best and most strongest spirit in this situation. So what are we looking at? 
First of all, everything's going to start declining, meaning everything will become below market value. House prices, everything, all assets, stocks, shares will be very, very volatile. Things will be moving like crazy now. When that starts to happen, people's well-being starts being affected. Mental health starts being affected. People's livelihood starts being affected. So vibrations will start to shift and we will all feel it. Emotions will be all over the place, especially going into the third quarter and fourth quarter of this year. Now, with the announcements of a lot of different bankruptcies and things happening, going into third quarter and fourth quarter, we will see even more of that. Going into the first quarter of next year, it's going to be very, very chaotic in terms of financial. So what preparations do you need to do right now as a, as a conscious creator? There's three stages to this. The first stage, number one, you must hustle hard right now to make as much cash as possible. And that is not with the same means that you've been doing so far. Now is time to step it up onto another level. And the space to do it in is online. Right now on social media, people are online more than ever before. If you look at while everything's been declining, right? You've got Jeff at Amazon here making so much money like literally tripling, quadrupling his income. Why? Because everybody is on Amazon, everybody is online right now. So if everybody's online, if you are to provide a solution, that is where you must place it. If you've ever been thinking to be a social influencer, now is the time. If you've ever thought to start a business online, now is the time to learn. So it's very important you learn these strategies and hustle hard at this new game. It's time to pivot. This is the great awakening. The universe is giving you a sign to say, now is time to change. For the smart ones, they will find change. For the not so smart ones, they will be affected as a victim of everything that's happening. So don't be that person. So number one is to educate yourself and start dominating in that online space and what you're doing. Pivot. It's time to do something you've never done before. Okay. Or do it on another level. The second, so that aim is to build up cash. You want to build up as much cash as possible right now. Number two, what will happen is when the cash comes in, the second part that you need to become very, very aware of, because if you've never had a hundred thousand in your account before, if you've never had a million in your account before, guess what? You think that money will change everything. It won't because we have been conditioned by media to spend in a certain way. So what it means is the money that comes in, your desires, your ego will come up and you will buy, start buying that dream car you've always wanted, start buying that dream house and start using the money not effectively. And so the result of that is that you will still be cash poor. So you still can't do anything in this climate. So the second thing is learn how to manage your money well, meaning do not spend right now. The only thing that you can invest in is probably in educating yourself. But other than that, right now is not the time to purchase houses, purchase assets, because right now is the decline. You're going to be able to purchase the same house in a year's time for like 30% below market value. Everything is declining right now. So now is the time to become cash rich, at least for this short period. So hold back on your desires. Hold back on those holidays, those luxury things that you wanna buy, build cash, Keep cash right now. Be cash rich. Then the third phase, when it reaches the Great Depression, when everything becomes declining, everything is below market value, then it's time to value invest, to get smart. Okay, if you've, if you've never heard of this terminology before, never thought about doing this before, now is the time to educate yourself. What will happen is, and let me tell you something, if you play these two, three years smart, you will never need to work again. You will never need to worry about time and money again. You'll be able to do what you want, whenever you want. And this is for the future generations and for you to be able to make a difference in this world. So the third phase is you will not take your cash to purchase property or commercial property or whatever it is. You will not use it. Um, if you have a hundred K, you will not use it that way. Number three, the third stage will be leverage. What this means is if you, if you manage to pull together 100K or 200K 
by the next year or 500K or a million or 10 million or 50 million, whatever you get to pull together, okay? Even if it's 5,000, 10,000, you pull as much as you can together. When it gets to the time of next year, when everything is at the lowest, the lowest in history, that is time for you to grab, but not grab with all your cash. You will leverage off loans and bank and everything you can leverage off other people's money, investors' money, and you will use your minimal capital. Instead of using 100K to buy one property, you're going to use 100K to buy 10 properties. You will leverage. Because once we come out of the recession, what will happen is everything you bought below market value will be worth a lot of money. So those loans will be paid off very, very quickly, but you will be able to 10X or 100X your results in this time. Why? Is this information important to all, even if you're not an entrepreneur and you're not an investor? Because what will happen is with everything that's happening, cash will be very, very important to help people. With conscious spirits, like everybody who's watching this video right now, you can see disasters happening globally and you can pray, you can pray, you can pray all you like, but a lot of resources will be needed, which is needed to purchase. So if we can all join hands together, why is it that I need to pass this information on right now? If we can all join hands together right now and say, hey, let's unite. Let's educate ourselves to become knowledgeable. Let's do the right thing right now. Let's hold back on our desires just for two, three years. If we play the cards right together, collaboratively, and we unite together, we become not just conscious spiritual people. We become very wealthy, very abundant, conscious spiritual people. And at the end of it, what are you going to do with the money? Well, you can enjoy certain things. You can help people in the, around your family, your friends. But what are you going to do with the rest of the money? At the end of the day, you're not going to eat it all. The remainder of it will always be to help the big disasters, the big situations, the big problems that are happening globally. And if we unite and come together, that compounding effect becomes very, very powerful. So this is your calling right now. I'm calling out to all conscious spirits out there. Now is the time, not tomorrow. And let me tell you something, you should be looking at it like this. It's like a time bomb that's ticking right now. When the Great Depression actually happens, we are leading up to this point right now. You actually want it to be longer. You want, to be, you want this time to be longer to give you more time to build up more capital. If you do, and you play the cards right over the next two to three years, let me tell you something, you will never need to worry about anything again. And please, don't in a few years time, be that person who watches this video, puts their palm to their head and says, oh man, I missed out. Understand something, by doing the steps that I said today, you do not lose anything, but you have everything to gain. Today, we've been always observing so many wealthy people on one side, totally unconscious, without purpose. They don't understand being. They're human doings, chasing one goal after another just to be lost. Then you have the other side of the spectrum, the spiritual people. Meditate every day, uh, yoga, practice all these different things. Talk about law of attraction, yet at the same time, a lot of them are broke. That's the reality. Let's be conscious spirits that are in abundance. Because when you are in abundance, you have the capacity to make a difference in this world. That is your calling. That is your purpose. If this video has been of any use to you whatsoever or give you some clarity, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. Also, comment below. Let us know your action points. What actions are you going to commit to to make this happen right now? Let us know your viewpoints on all of this also. And finally, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's that little bell sign, by the way, because this year I'm dedicated to making daily videos so you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, I'm signing out. Namaste. Mm -hmm.